Hi you guys, it's me Keith Johnson. So today we're back with another video and today we're going to be doing the Ariana Grande Internal Sunshine album song rankings. So if you're already staying like I am, hope you guys enjoyed this video and also leave a like, comment, subscribe and follow my social media handles around here. And yeah, my social media handles are different things but we're going to dip on the land of Ariana Grande because this album just dropped like two, three weeks ago and it has been like on repeat. Um, some songs more than others, and I'm just gonna go ahead and get started with this. Um, I'll be looking at my iPad. I have these songs kind of like in a, like in a ranking here. Um, I ranked this album three different times. <laughs> three different times I ranked this album. So this is my album where we stand at today. After like a more um, general listen, yeah. So the f the bottom. So there is no bad song in this album, but the bottom song for me. Um, this song is skipped the most for me. It's gonna be Supernatural. Um, I don't know why, it's just, this, it's like, I don't really care for this song. I'm just gonna be honest with you. It's, it's not a bad song, but it's just, it's a skip. It's a skip for me. I had it higher, like, in my first ranking. I think my first ranking, I had, like, two, four, six, seven place. So this song has never been, like, a bot for me, so it's just bottoms here. Um, the next song is I Wish I Hated You. This is a very good song. Um but i personally just can't relate like i'm not in a phase in my life where i'm like um you know i'm in a breakup or i'm in a new relationship or i'm like you know like where you just got a relationship and you're like that long year period of like still healing i'm not in none of these places in my life so um i feel like the song would have dropped like if 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 i was dating someone maybe but i'm just not here the song is cute um, the voice crack was, like, I'm glad she, like, left it in there. She wanted, like, more emotion in the song. And the song don't have to be, like, perfect. The voice crack was great on its own, but, um, that's just where it's gonna stand for me. Next up is gonna be intro. The intro here is good. Um, it's cute. It's a good way to start this album. And I was like, Sister Girl on Sweetener, Raindrops. That's probably the best intro for any album that we have. Sweetener just had the best introduction. Um, the next song for me is going to be Ordinary Things. Um, this is a good way to kind of close out the album. And you have like, um, I think her grandma at the end was talking about like, if if you can't like, if you can't lay down or something at night, if you can't kiss them or it's something at night, you're in the wrong relationship. Um, I like that was there. The song is cute. It's a cute little vibe. It's great to have like the closest off. It answers the question of the album. It's like the album starts off with um intro and we're like you know should, is she in the right relationship and now it closes off with no that was not the right relationship but now you're in a seems like you're in a better relationship now but with the relationship you was in get out get out get out that you know that's what this song really ends up with um next up is bye i feel like y'all gonna hate me for this um by it's just not this is kind of another like song like sometimes i skip it sometimes i don't it's a cute little like bop like it's got like bop like anthem to it it's just nothing that i just bop to uh it's cute or whatever but it's just it's just kind of there for me i don't i don't not there um so the next song i'm like so this right here this right here is like we're kind of midway through um but this song why are you here why are you here? Like, the song is great. It's a good song, but, like, the beat. The do 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 Yes, and. Uh, I like the song. Wrong album. Like, I don't know, like, like the lyrics of the song do fit on this album. Like, the beat. It's just the do 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 Thank you, next. We okay. I feel like we could have we could have swapped this song out for um, in my head maybe off of Thank You Next. We could have took one of those songs and put them over here. Like yes, it is a good song. It's just I don't know why it's here. Um, next up is uh, Imperfect for You. It's that's the secular song. Um, I had this song when I first listened to this album. Like was in my top three, four. Like I was like on this song like hard <laughs> like this is a very good song 
Um, it just kind of dropped down for me a little bit, but this song is still great. Um, the next song for me is going to be Don't Wanna Break Up Again. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's like the little beat, like the doom, 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 doom. I don't wanna yeah like that little beat it just this song reminds me of like um something that we got off of the positions album just a little more mature um this song is cute i do like the song like at first i was like mm, not really feeling it like it was in my kind of bottom three but this song has risen up there like this is a song that's like gaining steam for me i do like this song um the next four the next four are repeats this is this is a repeat session like this session right here we're at number repeats, shape bangers. Like these next four is top tier songs. Like, and the top two of these songs, be it out like are some of my favorite songs from this girl. And the first one is as my favorite. Um, number four is gonna be Internal Sunshine, the single. Um, the lyricism in the song. I'm like, when she said, um, I think I wrote it down. I hope you feel alright when you're in her. When she said, hope you feel all right when you're in her. Hope you feel all right when you're in her. Like. The, the pen. The lyricism. Like. This girl was hurt. This girl was hurt. Like, this song represents, like, the album. Like, this is a great title track for the album. This song is, it, it's, it's, it's just. It's the lyricism for me. Like, at first, I was like, mm, like I wasn't really here for it. It was like in my bottom four. Now this song has risen to a repeat for me. Um, it's just the lyricism for that. That pen was pinning on this one. Like, this pen was pinning. Um, number three is going to be We Can't Be Friends or uh, Wait For Your Love. Your Love. <laughs> um, this is a cute little song. I have not watched the music video yet. I don't know what I'm waiting for. Um, I did see the performance on SNL, though. Um, this song is really, really good. I'm just like, for it to be the number one song on the Billboard Top 100, mm, I don't know, but this song is good. Um, it's a cute little bob. I felt the same way about this when I first listened to the album. It was like in my top three. Um, I don't have too much to say about this song. The next song, we have notes. We have notes. Um, that boy is mine. I can't wait to try it. Yeah, like, Max Martin and Ariana Grande. So, Max Martin is Ariana Grande's producer for this album. And um, Positions. And Thank You Next. Yeah, like, I think he did some Thank You Next songs. I don't think he did all of it. But Max Martin, he, 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 when, you, this, this is how you take a song. Well, not take, but this is how you, like, sample a song from an artist from an iconic artist, Brandy, this is how you sample a song and make it your own. Like, this was not like a new sample that we get nowadays from like other artists, like where they just take like the whole beat and just ride their entire beat and kind of like ride their entire flow. This right here, I don't even know if this is a sample. Like this is more of like, Ariana Grande, she, I guess got some inspiration from the song and she made it her own thing, especially when Max Martin was like, uh, when they saw that little hook down, it was like, that boy is mine. And like, they just, they can't wait to try him. Like, that is genius. I have, I don't think I've ever heard a song do that. And I listen to like, you know, pop, rock, country, rap, hip hop, R&B. Like, we're like in all these different genres. And I have not heard any songs slow its course down. I, I, I have not heard, I think it's a chorus. I, I have not heard any song do that. Like, that, for me, brought this song up to number two because it is the level of, um, it's creative, creative system. I don't even think that's a word. It's just the level of, like, dang, like, they did a thing on this song. Like, this is, every time I hear that song, I'm like, oh. But someone on TikTok ruined this song for me. They was like, that sponge is mine. I'm like, ah, uh, my gosh. Um, but That Boy Is Mine is my second favorite, and my top favorite, I did not know this song was leaked. I'm glad I waited to listen to the album, like, to listen to the song of my first time, 
when I heard this song, this song was on my repeat, all right? Like, I had this song playing all day. All day when the song came out. All day. Um, this album dropped, the song was out for me. Um, it's called, This is a true story about a lies. You yeah, fantasize. Um, true story. Yeah, true story. This is my favorite song by Ariana Grande. And this song, to me, relates more to fantasize the um unreleased song i wish we would have got fantasized i wish we got fantasized like i really wish we got that but true story is a good song um it's my favorite bob it's just this whole album gives me like r&b this to me this is an r&b album like, i don't even consider it like a pop album maybe like yes and um could be a pop song by and um there's one more we can't be friends or wait for your love I would consider those three songs more like a pop anthem, but this entire album in general and True Story headlines R and B, headlines R and B. This 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 is like I'm in the '90s. I'm in the '90s. Like True Story, it's just it's her best song. It's it's her best work outside of Fantasize. The single positions was like on my like daily play for about a two or three years straight. And um, the song of Charlie's Angels, um, soundtrack, How I Look On You, cover of a magazine in just two weeks. Yeah, so that is my ranking of the Eternal Sunshine album. I hope I didn't keep you guys here too long. I wanted to make this real kind of short. Um, so rounding up, we got True Story, which is my absolute favorite. And I did have a ranking here. Um, and when I rank this out, my first listen go around, I will give you guys like my first time listening and ranking um so my first i'm just gonna kind of like run through these run through these so my first time was um i didn't know what an intro was for me at all the intro was just like i don't know where to put it so the bottom song i had was eternal sunshine we have changed course on this song eternal sunshine is golden all right next is ordinary things and then i wish i hated you don't want to break up again we can't be friends supernatural by, wait, I'm going backwards. By Yes And, Imperfect For You. The Boy Is My, and tr The Boy Is My, a true story was always my top two songs. But like my new song ranking, let's have it up here. And you know, I feel like let's say up here, whatever. But um, that is the end of this video. Hope you guys did enjoy this video. Hope you guys did enjoy these rankings. I wanted to do this like video. And if you guys are new, like I said, leave like, comment, subscribe, and follow the social media handles. And I hope you guys have a great day today. Oh, yeah, and I'm out.